Next, let's add a main sections over here in between this block quote and the footer over here. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm actually going to create like a little banner over here. I'm going to say section and it's going to have a class and the class is going to be titles or here like this and it's going to be like a banner for each of our uh, main sections right so what i'm going to do over here i'm just going to create a h1 and that h1 is going to say three interesting interesting things about coffee and you will see that when we style it it's going to be like a little banner right coffee over here like this and then next we're going to create uh some more sections but we're going to place them within a div, right? Because this is going to be holding all our main sections. So we're going to say div, and that div is going to have a class, and the class is going to be articles over here like this. And within that div, we're going to start placing the sections. So here I'm just going to say section over here, and within that section, first we're going to create a image, and I'm going to say that source, and the source is going to be over here from the images and obviously here I would have to pick so I guess I'm just going to go with I don't know like coffee beans something like this right and over here I'm just going to close it out and after that what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to write over here this little attribute alt and I'm just going to say that this is going to be coffee beans coffee over here beans right and after that what we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, header. I'm going to say that the header is going to say etymology over here like this, right? Because this is going to be just a little bit in information about coffee. And after that, we're going to create a paragraph over here like this. And here we're going to create a link over here like this. And over here, we're going to give this class that we actually created over here. You see this one? So we're going to do the same. We're going to say that the class is going to be button. BTN, right? Because we want to style it right away exactly the same way. So I'm going to say over here, click here, pretty much for more information, right? So as you can see over here, already I have this little button because I already styled it, right? And you can see that it's kind of jammed everything right now. But obviously, once we're going to uh, keep on styling, you'll see that we're going to create uh, paddings and margins and everything else. Now, where we would get the text, right? I mean, obviously, you can come up with your own text or you can put a, uh, a ipsum text or whatever, something like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to good old friend Google and I'm going to say Wikipedia coffee. So I'm going to say Wikipedia over here, Wikipedia, and I'm going to say the Wikipedia coffee. This is what I want, coffee. And then whatever we're going to find, we're going to say coffee. And obviously here we would have to start uh, looking for a information that we would want, right? So obviously I've been already looking over here. So you can see at the etymology, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy, let's say, these first two paragraphs, right? And I'm just going to say copy over here. And let's just go back and where we have our paragraph. And I'm just going to paste it over here. So now I can see that it's sitting over here. You can see that I messed up a little bit that I actually copied within my paragraph. So I would just need to fix it over here and actually get rid of this paragraph. Just cut it out and put it here. And let's get rid of this one, right? So now we have a proper paragraph that actually actually is going to be pretty much we're putting two paragraphs in one. And let's check it out what we have over here. Now I can see that this is going to be our paragraph, right? Now, after that, what we can do is maybe if it's too long, we can obviously always delete it if we don't like something. But I'm going to leave it the way it is over here. And I'm just, it's going to stay like this. And what I'm going to do over here, I obviously, I'm going to copy this a couple of more times, right? So we have a couple of more sections like this. So what I'm going to do over here, I'm just going to copy this section. And I'm going to say copy and I'm going to paste it a couple of times. And we're going to change uh, our values, obviously. We won't going to have three equal sections. So over here, if we have coffee beans, what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to change the image first of all. So I'm going to say that I would want a, let's say over here, coffee mug. 
Okay, this is going to be our second image over here. And after that, we're going to say that we would want a different image over here too. So we're going to say that we would want a, let's say we have wet coffee over here like this. So let's check it out what we have. Yeah, that's the one that we want. So we want coffee. And obviously over here, we're going to change some stuff around too. We're going to say over here that this is going to be biology already. Or I'm sorry, this one is going to be biology. Over here like this. And over here, we're going to say that this is going to be a history. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to add some new text. This is going to be history. So over here, what we're going to do is we're just going to delete this. And let's go and find where is our history. So here we have history. So I'm just going to copy this over here like this. Find where is my history. And we're just going to paste it over here. So now we have our history paragraph. And the last what we would need over here is this uh, biology, right? So you can see that I messed up actually over here. So let's write over here history. And the last one we're going to put biology. So this is going to be biology. Biology. And over here what we need to do is obviously find where is our biology. So where it is? It was somewhere here. So let's make it bigger. Here it is. All right, so again, probably just the first one is going to be enough. Here like this. I'm just going to copy this. And let's just delete this one, and then we're pretty much ready to go. So this one is deleted. And over here we have a biology text, right? So pretty much now we added the or our HTMLs where we needed. And over here you can see how our web page looks like, right? So we have over here this banner. Then we have over here these three sections. And I purposely did it so we have a different size of... Uh, a image and different size of the paragraphs so we can actually see how how we can work with them because I don't want to give you an example where we have three equal sections and then it's really easy because once you start one it's pretty much all of them are gonna be the same right we're gonna look at some challenges that are that come with different images and different styles of paragraphs right so let's go ahead to our CSS and like actually let's start styling so I will open main CSS over here like this and in between the media query that we were working and over here in between the footer and the actually a block quote, right? Because we kind of a little bit worked the, uh, like, let's say, other way around. We should have probably uh, continued with the block quote, but we just added the footer because I want to show you something, uh, what is happening when, once we're actually floating the elements. So now over here, what we will need to do is actually write uh, the class, the titles. That's going to be the div, the banner div that I would want to select. Or here this one the three interesting things about coffee and we have a class title so I'm gonna say that I want to select titles and I would want a padding over here to be 1 em or here like this then I'm gonna say that I would want a line height to be like 3 em or here like this and after that we're gonna add a text align center or here like this and then we're gonna say that we're gonna tra text transform over here we're going to say that we would want a capitalize over here like this and after that again we're going to add a background color chocolate and again i can see that i you can see that i'm not a designer so i really just keep going back and forth between some colors that just seem kind of i don't know appealing to me so if you have better ideas leave the comments or uh, send me a messages or anything like that. I really would appreciate your input over here, especially with the colors, right? And after that, once we're done with these titles, let's jump over here and actually start styling this uh, whole articles section, right? So here I'm going to say that I would want a class articles. That's going to be our class of our div. And I'm going to say that for the whole div, I would want a margin to be 2 em something like this right so you can see what's happening that all my sections are actually over here getting a margin all around them right i didn't need to do it separately one by one i just set it over here all the way around now you can see over here that some of the images fit 
well i wouldn't say nicely but they fit in over here because they're obviously smaller and this one is sticking definitely out right so this this was the purpose of adding the images like that so we can see how we can actually fix that but before that let's just add actually the first uh rule for our articles section so here i'm just going to say articles and i'm going to say articles section right so each section that i'm working with i'm actually going to be a making the rule right now so i'm going to say text align center right so again as you can see for all my uh, sections three of them right right away all my texts are actually in the center and that's the nice thing about making this div now we obviously could have written over here section but then it's obviously if we have some more sections then we need to deal with some classes or something like that right now after that we would want to select articles section and paragraph in there so i'm going to say articles and then i'm going to say section and over here is going to be paragraph and i would want a text align justify over here like this and then we're going to say that we would want a line height to be 2 em over here like this so now we have a little bit bigger line height and after that what we want to do is actually deal with these images right and it's actually very easy if we are right over here articles that's going to be our div and then i say that section and the image in the section and the only thing i need to do is actually say with and with to be 100 percent you can see right away what is going to happen with the smaller images they are going to become bigger or here like this and the bigger one actually became smaller because what we're doing we're saying width needs to be 100 percent of the section where it is exactly right so this is going to be a very nice neat thing how we can actually deal with this and over here we're going to say border and we're going to say radius over here like this border radius and we're going to say that border radius is going to be five pixels so let's now let's go over here to our media queries and actually start obviously floating them for the bigger screens because what you can see over here is as we're making the screen bigger right it's obviously doing the same thing as our over here our banner that we created but we don't want that we actually want as the screen gets bigger we want actually to fit them nicely uh, side by side right to create a floating uh, three floating sections right so let's go ahead and actually create again a bigger uh sorry yeah bigger uh main css over here and let's just start styling so i guess i'm just going to leave the nav all the way on the top over here in our media query and over here i'm just going to create a little bit more room so we can see a little bit better what uh, what we are doing and obviously over here i'm going to start actually uh, styling and actually setting rules for them the first thing we would need to write is actually a selector so i'm going to write articles over here like this and then i'm going to write section section over here like this and then i'm going to say that i would want to float it left at like you can see over here at 600 pixels i would want to float it left and let's say that i'm going to say that each section is going to have width of let's say for now 30 percent now we're going to change that but let's just say for now 30 percent let's check it out what happens right so i'm just going to save this over here well not over here actually over here let's just save this and let's see what happens right so as you can see that as i'm making the screen bigger the problem happens over here that you can see that something is not right right because over here that you can see that yes my uh, articles have been floated to the left however because i floated them you can see that they're pretty much sitting now right now within uh, my uh, footer right so obviously i would need to fix that right so before i even worry over here about these margins and the fact that they're not filling up the whole screen i actually would need to fix this uh, footer here first and the way we would do that we would go back to index over here and remember when we created this clear fix class and we would need to add over here this clear fix class to our div right to our div that holds our sections because as we when we are floating over here our three sections actually the footer doesn't anymore recognize them right because they're pretty much uh, floated out of the flow so over here we say clear fix or here like this and then obviously i would save it and we go back over here main css to check out, check it out where was our clear fix and we you see that we added a class clear fix um which is i cannot find right now over here right so we had a clear fix before clear fix after right before and after both had content 
uh, nothing and display table and just clear fix after had clear both right so clear fix after would mean that footer would actually clear both if we're floating left or right right so therefore right now everything is fixed as we're sitting over here we just need to refresh it over here and you can see right you can see over here that footer is actually in his normal place and now we only need to worry about the width right we don't need to worry about the fact that actually footer is sitting on top of our uh, main articles section so let's right now start actually dealing with the width and with the width i want just want to show you a uh, little thing that we can actually use our chrome tools so over here if we go all the way to the bottom let's just find out where's our article section right this is this 30 percent that we have been working with right so we're saying we wanted 30 percent so let's use google uh, chrome we say more tools and we say developer tools now the problem is remember that uh, right away as you do that actually brackets live preview is gone right so we're gonna have to save it and refresh it and all that stuff right that's the unfortunate link however if you can see over here this google chrome right but as i'm making the screen look over here on the right hand side right it's actually telling us what is the width of the screen right so it allows us actually to work really easy with uh when we are actually want to change some kind of width we can actually see what is the width of the screen right over here it says 704 pixels so let's right now imagine that at 700 pixels right we would want all these let's say to be i don't know like 200 and uh i don't know 20 uh pixels wide and then all of them these two margins in between them should be like 20 pixels so how we would get that with this percentage well we would get to we would go to calculator over here and over here i'm just going to write that i would want my section to be 220 at 700 pixels so here i would do like this i would say 220 divided by 700 pixels and what is the result and the result lies like this so what I would do over here, I would just copy this number. And don't worry, the computer is going to understand what you mean by that. So over here, what we do is we go over here and we say width. And we, we copy this width over here, command V. And we just add percentage. However, we need to obviously move the decimal point. So over here, instead of 0 0.31, we're actually going with 31, right? And after that, we said that we would want each margin to be 20. So what do we do over here? We just uh, start a new one. And we just start a new one again like this. And we say that 20 divided by 700. And what is the result? Right? And this is going to be like 2% something. So again, what we do over here, we just copy this number. This is the most important thing. We just copy and now we can close this. And now we can actually close these developer tools also. And let's just go back over here. And we're going to say that the margin right for each section over here like this, we're going to say margin right. Margin right is going to be this number. And again, we're just going to move these decimals. So we're going to say 2.8% over here like this. And then we put a semicolon. And now we're going to have to save it and refresh because we obviously used a uh, developer tool. So now our live preview is gone. So now you can see this is the problem now. Technically, it's working. However, you can see that they don't all fit, right? And the reason they don't fit is because this one has a margin too, right? And we actually don't want this margin. So what we would need to do over here, we again, we would go back to articles section. And we would say over here that we would want a articles section uh, last child over here. So that would be the last section over here. We would say articles and we would say section and we would say pseudo class last child or here like this and we would say that we would want a margin right to be none right so we're going to write margin right and we're going to say none right so now let's check it out let's save it again and let's refresh and let's refresh again and we didn't need to write margin left right none sorry 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 we needed to write margin right zero that's why it's not working right 
just keep on going back before uh, between the nuns and, and all this stuff. So let's just refresh. Now you can see that they're all sitting in one page, right? Nicely and neatly. And obviously you could have chosen different numbers. You didn't need to go 220. If you want to do a different number, you can obviously do whatever you want. However, remember that I purposely went with 220 and then I added 220s. So this one, all of them would be 700 width. Don't try to make this 240, each of them, and then say that you would want them to fit in a 700 pixel screen because that's not going to happen. So what you need to remember that all of these values need to fit within your uh, within your screen. So let's say if this would be 600, obviously I, I couldn't fit them if they would be 220 pixels. We obviously would pick a smaller number. We would say, I don't know, let's say that this would be like 175. And then we would need to calculate the rest of these margins over here. However, and the nice thing that we have already these margins that has the whole div, right? Now there's a couple of other things that we would need to fix. First of all, you can see that again, these the width over here of these uh, our images are different, right? You can see that these images are different and also the text is, right? It's not the same, right? So what we would need to do, we would need to go back and we would need to actually uh, select the actual image. And the first thing that we would need to say is that we're going to say articles, articles, and we're going to say image over here, section, section image. And we would want to say that we would want them to be specific height. And I'm just going to say that this is going to be 23 EMs, right? So what we're going to do again, we're going to save this. We're going to refresh. And now I can see that all of them are going to be exactly the same, right? And again, we can change the different sizes and all that. It's not doesn't really matter. You can pick however you would want, right? However, I'm just kind of giving this an example of what we can do in order to actually make them uh, all appear the same. And now we would need to fix this text over here because we, obviously we'd want them uh, to be shown exactly the same. So now we would go again back to the articles uh, paragraph over here like this. So we're just going to say article section paragraph, right? This is going to be our class, article section paragraph. And over here, we're going to say that uh, height is going to be 22 EMs over here like this. However, we need to actually also right away add a overflow hidden, right? So we're going to write overflow and we're going to say hidden. So whatever is going to be over this 22 is actually going to be hidden. So again, we're going to save it and we're going to refresh. And over here, you can see how they're all nicely exactly the same. Now you need to pick, obviously you'll see sometimes if you're picking, let's say some type of number, you can sometimes have it half line, right? So obviously you would need to, f you would need to fix that and actually pick the uh, actual width, right? The height over here, and then it's actually working. Then you can see this line over here. So that would be one thing to actually look out for. But pretty much this is it for actually working with our main section, right? We're going to add some more icons uh, in just a second. However, you can see that how we did it, that we actually created this banner over here. Then we had these three pictures. If we have a screen larger than 600 pixels, then they're floating to the left. Once they're actually going to the smaller screens, they actually fit nicely 100% uh, to our screen. So you can see how actually how how easy it is to do that.